I think that there's a there's a a human need and hope that we can drive change in ourselves in our current environments. And what I've learned across so many different professional steps in my life is that I've never seen immense change happen when we're comfortable in our normal environments. I show sure love feel good. I'm Kirsten. I am an experience designer at Stoked, um, and that is a, a living, breathing organism. There's a lot that might go into that role, and so I help design the experiences around workshops, learning experiences, sprints that Stoked provides. Um, everything from the way that it aesthetically looks and feels to maybe analogous learning experiences and different events that we might use as a way to inspire and work with clients. Up to, I think, about six years ago, I started working in wilderness therapy in the middle of nowhere in Utah in the southwestern corner of the state, right by Zion. We uh, did therapeutic interventions for clients that tried different ways to change and go through behavioral change uh, through different types of programs, but they just didn't work for them. Wilderness was really a last step intervention for them to try out new behaviors in their lives clients show up and they don't really have much future information and a lot of the work that they move through is really just dependent on their needs and it's extremely customized to support exactly what they need to learn and grow into and it was done in this really incredibly simple environment right I mean I've seen some of the most powerful things in my life with a couple of sticks and rocks as props it really was an environment for people to get stripped out of what's comfortable into a totally alien landscape, really left with just their thoughts and their emotions um, and, and not much else. The whole entire thing is set up as one giant growing metaphor. So everything is earned in wilderness therapy. You, you earn a hot meal <laughs> because you make your own fire with literally sticks and a rock. You earn the ability to communicate with your parents through letters by showing up and being vulnerable and checking in and naming emotions and actually managing what's coming up for you. So it was really set up in a way that your development and where you could really take it really just depended on how much you gave into the process. You know, I think when you, when you try something new and it's the same as trying to make fire with sticks <laughs> in the middle of nowhere or learning how to design with a user specifically in mind, there's such a vulnerability in that. It's not comfortable. Well, and you, you feel it as soon as they come in our doors. I see it every time. And there's something so important about that when you are, again, stripped away from your work environment, coming here to learn the skill that like, you kind of might know what it is, but you're just learning as you go. And being able to do that in a space that feels safe and fun and light and bright and not a cubicle, really makes a difference for their growth and development.